it's Holy Week. So on Friday, couldn't post a vlog because there's no internet. Um, don't know why there's no internet, but there was no internet. And then Saturday, uh, we had no electricity, so we had no water. <laughs> no, because somebody didn't turn around and keep the electricity on at the water company. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, cheeseburger. On a Sunday. My indulgence. So, today, what are we talking about? Um, well, we're going to talk about when you fly into Philippines and you've got more than just hand luggage. So, um, if you've got one of those big suitcases, which is what I had back in uh, October when I came into the Philippines in November, what actually happened was um, I arrived on Emirates at uh, T1, got off at T1, walked out towards the transit lounge, and as you're walking on a corridor, it will say baggage reclaim, which you turn around and go to, uh, or it says transit flight, and you go to the transit flight, then you turn around and you move on to your next flight departure. The problem with that was that you had to go to baggage reclaim first before you went to the transit because you had to pick up your suitcase and then you had to rebook in your suitcase after you checked out. So you might have a transit flight but if you've got a suitcase, then you've got a problem. Uh, and that was evident back in November when we had that typhoon and all these people had luggage and it was just all piled up in the terminal. Now what they've done now, at, what they've done at Manila now with Philippine Airways, is if you're flying Philippine Airways, you come into off the plane and this is only Philippine you come off the airline you walk along the corridor you go down to baggage reclaim you come out of baggage reclaim and then over on the right hand side is a uh, baggage what do they turn around and do, go, uh, baggage transit desk and what you do is you show them your transit ticket to your next destination you give them your baggage and they will make sure it's put on your plane on the domestic lounge in terminal 2 so you come in at T1 and you deposit your luggage at T1 after you've gone through baggage reclaim then you can turn around go outside get on the free bus go from T1 around to T3 then back to T2 two stops uh, get off at T2 then go and check in your luggage has already been hopefully it's already been moved on now in theory sounds good in practice I flew in on PAL um, last year and my, my baggage was supposed to end up in Davao. And when I arrived in Davao after taking the route on the transit, when you come off the plane, it says transit destination. So you go along the transit, you go down, it takes you into the lounge, you go on to terminal two. Well, it used to be terminal uh, three. I got on terminal three uh, and then I caught my connecting flight to Davao. When I arrived at Davao, no luggage because I hadn't checked my luggage in Manila Airport. It took another three days for my luggage to arrive at Davao, and then I had to turn around and make a payment. Then I, they checked it, and then I could collect my luggage. 
Alonso arrived three days after me. Now, what they're doing now is they're actually making sure the luggage with PAL is arriving at Davao once you check it at Manila Airport. So there's, it's not new, they're calling it new, but it isn't new. It's what PAL Airways always wanted, or Philippine Airlines always wanted to do in the past, is you disembark in Manila, you go to, you collect your luggage, you go to another desk, you put in your uh, luggage, they check it, they also check your ticket and they assign it to the internal Philippine Airways flight. And it gets transferred on your flight. And as long as you've got two hours at Manila, your luggage will end up being flown. If you've got a 50 minute flight or less, you won't get it until next day or the day after. If you're flying into Davao from outside of the Philippines and you book your ticket with your airline in say London or New York or LA or San Francisco or Paris or wherever, and you ask your tour operator or you ask your um, airline in your departure airport will my luggage end up getting to my final destination they'll turn around and tell you yes it doesn't happen unless you are flying directly into Davao in the past in the past if you're flying directly into Davao with Singapore or Qatar Airways uh, your luggage will get here but all the other carriers they all terminate in Manila which means your luggage will be in Manila and your airline might turn around and say yeah your luggage will get into Davao but it will get to Manila how it gets from Manila to Davao is different now this week this week there's been an announcement that Japanese Airlines um, if you're flying into Davao via Manila or Cebu your luggage will end up in Davao Canadian Airways are exactly the same they've made that statement that all their Canadian flights that are flying into the Philippines and you're going to Davao your luggage will end up in Davao Airport if you're flying to Davao now there is a statement regarding American Airlines and American carriers that this will happen but it's always a but there are six flights where they don't guarantee getting your luggage from Manila into Davao and you need to check that before you book your flight into the Philippines because you might be booking your flight and it might be coming from San Francisco or New York or LA or Hawaii or whatever it is into the Philippines but the onward luggage part of it you will need to turn around and make sure you pick up your luggage at Manila and then recheck it in at the baggage transit desk which means you rebook it in to turn around and say this is my onward flight da -da -da -da, with Cebu or PAL or Asia or Silk Air or Cebuana to Davao they will make sure that your luggage gets onto that flight and it arrives in Davao when you arrive in Davao okay and there may be a charge for that service because some carriers give you 35 kilos international luggage weight the weight of your case is 35 kilos but you go into Manila and your luggage weight is only 20 kilos so you've got 15 kilos of excess that you will be charged for you will be charged for so don't think because your airline out of America gives you a 35 kilo luggage allocation 
that your flight internally in the Philippines will give you 35 kilos. It won't. If you haven't booked luggage allocation, that's when this transit desk will pick up that you need to book your ticket and they will turn around and charge you for your luggage. So be careful guys, it's a little bit of a grey area on that one. Um, as I said, when it happened to me, I got to Davao, my, ba my, bag, my bag weighed 19 kilos, I didn't get charged. But they made sure they checked it and weighed it two or three times before they released it at Davao, because they wanted to charge me. You could see it on their face, they just wanted to charge me because they thought I was carrying a really, really big suitcase out of, out of London. But I wasn't. I wasn't. So, if you're booking a ticket to the Philippines, if you're coming through Manila and you're not on Japan, Canada or a US carrier, you will turn around and have to collect your luggage at Manila, go to the baggage transit desk, put your luggage in, tell them your onward flight details, whether it's at Terminal 2, one of those domestic flights, they will then turn around and weigh your luggage then they will turn around and make sure it's on that flight uh, and that will piss you off when you're in Manila and they give you a charge because you've already thought that your luggage is going from A to B like it does in the rest of the world but here it goes A to B which is Manila and then there's these add-on charges for putting it on a domestic flight because 20 kilos is a normal domestic flight weight uh, some planes, if you're looking at, I think, I think I can't remember the name of it, it's begins with B, it's a prop air, airplane, it's got, it's got less luggage space on that plane, so it won't take 20 kilos, I think it's like 12 kilos with 7 kilos of your carry-on luggage. Uh, domestic, 20 kilos, so watch that, but Japan, Canada and America you will get your luggage directly into Davao, which is great, but from America, check some of your flight details, uh, which is cool. Uh, if you're traveling from Middle East, um, into Davao is only Qatar, that will get to Davao direct. And if you're flying with Singapore, into Singapore and then Singapore onto Davao, you will get your luggage in Davao. So at the moment, Singapore and Qatar direct, you'll get your luggage. If you're coming via external and using Japan, Canadian and American Airways, you will get to Davao. Yep. All the other carriers you have to offload, check it in at Manila for it to come back into Davao and there will be these excess baggage charges and you need to be really really careful on that one guys because it's there. Yeah, They turn around and they say the in internal domestic flights is 20 kilos, it's not 35 kilos. So if you're flying business class and you've got 40 kilo luggage allowance, you're going to be paying 20 kilos because domestic doesn't do, does, does business, but it's still only 20 kilos. Um, so that's pretty cool. I, th I think it's moving in the right direction. I think if you're booking, me personally, I think if you're booking any flight into Davao Airport from anywhere in the world, your luggage should get to Davao Airport. It shouldn't just get to Manila and then there's a whole set of rules that kick in in Manila. Yeah, and that's what's going to happen. Anyway, so from Easter Sunday, um, power's on, water's working, storm is coming, there is a low pressure coming in. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to finish my cheeseburger and uh, my Coke Zero which is for, there we go, Passover. Uh, take care, you look after yourselves. And if you're traveling, safe journey. Like, share, subscribe, and hug your friends. Spank my bottom to increase my subscribers. Share with your friends to grow my channel. Thank you very much.